Don't talk about it too much. Julio and the gang. Yep, that sounds good. I like that. I'll uh, have to stop looking into um, options to stash the PlayStation and stuff at some point. Stash the console. Da, 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 da. I've got no... What I need is like... The problem is my feet go there often, but I need like shelves under the desk where I'm just like plonk consoles. So that I can just like put the cables in and then have it all like hidden away. Yeah. But, uh, oh, look at that. He got the juice, he's got the juice. Can't imagine him up. Yeah, so at least I'll have some excuse to finally play through Ignition at the very least. And if I then decide no, this sucks, I'm just not going to run it. <laughs> but I was like, no, this sucks. I mean, chances are I'm not going to give it as much attention as I do the normal stuntman. But I at least feel like it would be kind of cool to have a run for every game in the franchise. There isn't that many, so it's easy. There's the original one, there's the Ignition on PS2. I guess if you want to be pedantic, you could say the run for PS2 is different than the one on 360 because, like, the missions, some missions are apparently a bit longer on the next gen. Okay. Uh, 360 and PS3. But apparent, so apparently the guy that runs the boards, who was on my stream last time, uh, said there's, there's no separate boards for that, which I would probably disagree with, but whatever. Sounds like you're going to gonna become a mod of that one too. <laughs> nah, probably not. <laughs> um, I mean, there's not that many people running anyway, so it's like... Um, yeah, and there's the Stuntman, original Stuntman on Game Boy Advance, which I also want to beat and run at some point. Gotcha. Okay. Two... But, but the kind of my issue with that is that I need, for that, I need to sort out the emulator again because right now I can't stream uh, or record Game Boy games and I'm probably not going to do it, get the setup for that anytime soon. Mm -hmm. If I don't run across somebody selling or lending me a GameCube with a Game Boy player for cheap, which I probably won't. Yeah, I remember you that was going to cost like a good, good chunk. Um, of, uh... I think I talked to somebody, I was at a retro game um, fair thing. Uh, not long ago, and I told, I asked somebody that was selling a Game Boy complete with Game Boy Player, and I think he said, did he say 500 or 300 bucks? I think he but mentioned yeah, 300 like, before. Yeah, I think last time I said 300, but I'm, now that I think about it, he might have said 500. But yeah, that's ridiculous, because I can already play Game Boy games, so, uh, GameCube games, on my Wii, so there's not, I don't really need a GameCube, except for the Game Boy. Uh, there's not really a difference between playing. I don't think there's a difference between ga playing GameCube games on a Wii and on a GameCube. So that's kind of pointless. Um, so I'd only use it to play Game Bo Game Boy games sometimes, and I'm not a content creator yet that makes money from that. So that's yeah. not a really point in investing. And I might be a bit like I don't know. Maybe I can shoot like a game like it. It be maybe it can be like a long term kind of project to try to track down a Game Boy player and then you can get a just a game GameCube for all too cheap basically is... or like get a, get a GameCube for like a or like get a Game Boy player for somewhat reasonable GameCube. is using uh the E word not a better option it is an option and it's probably what I'm gonna do but yeah. I I am weird and I like to use original way like dude the... I completely understand that like that's why I've still got the PS1 and PS2, just so I can play games like natively. Like, that's oh no! Interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's not—it's not absolutely not an issue like to play it on the emulator, and especially the Game Boy Advance emulator is really, really good. So there's not really a reason to get a Game Boy player. I just like nice to have. play the games. Yeah, it's just yeah. I just like to not use emulators. Not Completely not because inside. I think emulators are bad or whatever. And I don't really condone anyone that. Condone? Is that what? Condemn. Uh, not condemn. There we go. <laughs> uh, Condemn anyone that does use them for speedrunning or whatever. Uh, I just personally like to be a bit more, uh, you know. No, I get it completely. Um, hi, James. It's always nice to use the original hardware. No, I yeah, yeah. I said I totally get that. The other thing for me it, as well was like playing um, when I was like doing the living decks. I was looking at like having to play silver and you know older games and stuff like that. I was like, I, I, I could emulate these games. That's not a problem. But like can't then transfer them so it's much yeah. better to go get the ds or go get this and actually play them properly rather than um trying to be you know sneaky around it so yeah, yeah. I, I i i prefer the uh the proper version of playing things emulators are fine but i i i prefer 
that just from, happened. For me, the issue is just hell of it, uh, emulators are so often they're such a hassle. It's so annoying to set up. Like the Game Boy and DS ones, they're really simple and work really well for like 95% of the time. Yeah, Game Boy is quite fun to use on the phone. Yeah, but everything else is just a bit annoying to deal with. I think like the older, the old consoles, NES and stuff like that's also fine. But like everything that's CD based is usually murky at best. Like I, I have not really many issues doing PS1 emulation, but I, I don't know, the thing just stopped working after a time. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, that's cool. One of the guys I listen to again podcast wise is like was talking about like emulators and stuff like that because he's got like misters and fucking like um for emulation but then he's also got like atari 2600s and all this old shit basically that like so we can play yeah. basically anything at any time and he says like you know emulators are there, there or thereabouts for the most part but like anything beyond playstation 2 and even then yeah. you're kind of struggling to find anything that consistently works well so what's really funny actually is that um so anything playstation um emulator people have been struggling with ps1 is pretty good ps2 is it's good but there's like a lot of games just have issues like for example stuntman um and just uh, it's not that stable yet um but they like it's really impressive how much like how well it is the, the ps2 emulator hmm? but yeah it's not quite that um, PS3 emulation, I've heard, is a bit of a mixed bag as well. Most, I think it's even better than PS2 emulation, funnily enough. Um, and I don't think there's a PS4 emulator, but I could be wrong. Um, PSP emulation is fine, apparently. Um, but yeah, for Nintendo consoles, it's actually like, emulation is actually incredibly good. Yeah, um, you, can get most, you can get Switch games on P PC for fuck's yeah. sake. So. Fucking mad, dude! You can you can emulate Switch. You can emulate um, one of the best emulators is actually Dolphin, which is GameCube yes. That right. one is incredibly impressive. Um, you can do not only can you just play all games no problem, you can also play like online stuff with that. You can uh, yeah. you can play like with with other people. You can you can have like different mods for games and like different texture packs and everything, and it's fucking. Hey, I've seen um, clips of like you know people playing games in the background, of TikToks and stuff like that. It's quite often yeah. like why is CJ and Smash Bros and shit like that. <laughs> it's like what the fuck's going on? Uh, real quick. Oh, but it, that's that's not necessarily emulator. That's more. That's also just the um, the modding crowd for GameCube games, especially oh, okay. Mega and uh, Wii One. Um, they they do that also on just regular hardware. Right. Okay. The um, modding the the modding and homebrewing cons uh, like community for Wii is incredible. Uh, generally, anything cartridge based is fine to emulate. The Saturn and Dreamcast, in particular, are total bollock. Oh, I, oh, is, really? Is there enough games on Dreamcast that people want to put the effort into emulating them? Though? Uh, yes and no. There's a lot of good games on Dreamcast, but most of them, because of Dreamcast died so early, came over to PlayStation Two. Yeah. I was say. Um. So there isn't many that you would like specifically seek out a Dreamcast for, because most of them either came to Xbox or to PlayStation. Yeah. Because the Dreamcast started off in I think 2000, died in like, and 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 died like right after the PS2 came out, and the PS2 was like mid late 2001. So a lot of P um, early PS2 games are actually uh, re just repurposed Dreamcast games. Kind of funny. Uh, I have a few of those, like um, especially I like. I know mostly like racing games so for example evolution 4x4 i believe that's a dreamcast game that came out mm -hmm. um yeah there's a few of them i don't i don't i'm not i haven't looked up i haven't looked into that like too much but it's pretty interesting uh dreamcast is yeah i don't know if there's much there's definitely a lot of big fans for it i think there's a more of a community for it in terms of modding and stuff because there's still people that keep like the online a lot yeah um, yeah. Dreamcast and uh, Saturn. Obviously, Saturn is like a really weird one because that one is just not really popular and didn't make it. Uh, like, it's really hard to get your hands on games. So, if you want to play some of the Saturn games, you kind of have to do emulation because, like, getting a console and a game in box or whatever that's borderline impossible for some for some of the games. Oh, okay. Saturn is really expensive uh, because it's so rare. 
and because it's so quirky it's like one of the really early P uh, cd consoles and it like has really weird games on it so it's like a bit of a collector's thing you know? uh let me just yeah. um you know, i have a ps2 with a hard drive in it so i can load isos and onto it that's i have one too it doesn't work <laughs> oh sad um even i have to admit the gamecube version of sa2 is superior to the original sonic adventure uh, Dreamcast was released 1999. Metropolis Street Racer, I think, is the best racing game, but I don't think has been re-released on another console. Yeah, I don't think that's made it out of the Dreamcast, no. But like, yeah, there's a, there's like a handful of Dreamcast games that are still stuck on it. Um, but most of them you can just play on all of the more accessible consoles. Like, for example, getting a um, getting an original Xbox and like Xbox games. Uh, is it's super cheap like the at least in America. I know that I've, I haven't looked into it that deep But I think in Europe they're also quite cheap um, uh, Like if you want to collect for a console and you want to like specifically go cheap, but not like modern uh, Xbox original Xbox or PS2 even PS2 is also pretty good to start with honestly Because the the games are still pretty pretty affordable even the the better ones the cheap the the more rare ones obviously you have like you also have your 400 buck games and stuff like that but most of them uh james do you know how to like did you install that uh, that hard drive into the playstation yourself by the way or did you just uh, have somebody do it because like i said i bought one from somebody and mine isn't working so i need like oh is that the one you that the one you bought is yeah. it Ah. Yeah, and I just couldn't be bothered to like look into it now, so I yeah, it's pretty well. I should I should I should finally like make do it have have it open it up and look into it, but I haven't yet. Yeah, you should probably make sure the thing that you paid for is working. Yeah, probably. That's... Um, my half brother got me Saturn for my 13th birthday. I still have it. Yo, that's that's great. But yeah, not many games cost that pretty expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you want to get them like complete. Uh, there just haven't been many Saturns out there, so there isn't many things. Um, I wish I knew what happened to my Mega Drive. Also, I'm pretty sure that, um, like all of the early um, disc, game, disc consoles, you will encounter... If you buy a Saturn now, you might have an issue with the disc drive, basically. Like, those are usually the first thing to go on these CD, DVD-based consoles. I'm not sure how bad. Like I said, it's, it's I think it's something I I kind of want to look into because it's so quirky and weird. But I haven't yet. Especially because like owning a Saturn and like or collecting Saturn is 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 not really because you want to play the games because they're all kind of bad. I think it's more of a personality quirk. Like oh I I own a Saturn and I cool. Personality. Okay. I I'm not sure if there's like I'm. Like, I'm gonna talk shit, but whatever. You crack on, dude. Uh, come on. Oh, God. Thank um, thank. I did it. I can't remember uh, the exact process off the top of my head. It used a modded memory card to load the Linux OS and the yeah, modem yeah. adapter to FTP files over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, you know, maybe I can, if I'm running into issues, I can, like, maybe. I, I don't want to, like, do much with it. I just need to open it up and see if I can, if, what's wrong, basically. I need to troubleshoot. Maybe I can, like, message you if I'm if I don't understand what's going on uh, but yeah Saturn like I don't know if there's like any good games on there there's probably like a few but it's just not much and the the console is just it's, it's an early CD console so loading times are awful and uh, yeah that kind of stuff just go into the game for a hot second um, I'm again not played the Alliance side uh, recently I've just found out this the uh, Loch Madan, when it got updated during Cataclysm, it became a giant conspiracy between three of the like the minor races of the game, and it's really fucking funny. Um, <laughs> and the text here, uh, the quest text is, uh, those gnolls and murlocs are liable to be meeting out there somewhere, so you take this clever plant disguise of mine, you wear it, look like a plant, then you sneak up on them, and you throw this secret pheromone you gathered on the moss hide standing with the murlocs, then the murlocs will flip their spit, and the Mossite <laughs> will think twice about trying to work with such crazy little buggers. Right. They'll flip their spit. <laughs> the worst Sounds a bit disgusting. Problem is, she says use this item 
but I don't seem to have the item. Oh, that works. Interesting. There's a bit of a concern. Oh, no, I need the other salt. Do I hear the noise? Yes. I think it was that loud, but... Maybe he did. He probably heard me talking about Warcraft and was like, yeah, man. Let's do this. Uh, Read of the Saturn Light Games. House of the Dead 2 is fantastic, but again, that's been re-released on the Wii and you can use the Wii remote as a light gun because the old ones don't work on modern TVs. Sag. I'll find the processor for the PS2 mod because I've got it saved somewhere. Happy for you to give me a shout if you need help with it. There you go. Thank you. Jestertainment. Uh, connecting Matt new Maker. friends since this year. You're a matchmaker. I don't do a matchmaker. You're a fresh maker. No, no, I need you to uh, stop treating Twitch as Tinder. Thank you. Fresh goes better with man. What, wrong wrong T app? Fresh goes better with man. Just fresh and full of life. No, no, I need you to stop. Why? What's wrong with mental? I just, I just need you to stop. The stream is sponsored by Mentos. It's not sponsored by Mentos. And Could I wouldn't be. support it being sponsored by Mentos, to be honest. You a coward. No, want to support something I don't like? No, no. What? Why didn't you like Mentos? What's wrong? I'm minty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're weird. All right. Only me. Yeah. Listen, I like what I like. I like what I don't, don't like what I don't like. Don't bully me because I'm different to you. That's right. I just bully. I just bully you for fun. Fun? But there's nothing fun about bullying people. Oh, it's hilarious. Chat, don't mind me. I'm just a plant. Okay, no, tag this bitch. Potent Murloc pheromones. It's pretty hot. I've done it. What's gonna happen? Three more bluegill representatives have turned up. They've surrounded him. I think they're about to... Oh. Ah, I'm curse about... your sudden yet inevitable betrayal. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, sorry, what's up? Apparently James's Mega Drive is in the Geek Retreat. Why is it a Geek Retreat? Community console, I guess. Oh, also, um, I think we actually have been registered with uh, Team oh, Challenge. Oh, really? Yeah. Jesus. Let me um, check for you in a bit. Thank you. Uh, yeah, James and Sophie uh, attacked them and were like, Oi! Why aren't we signed up yet? And four trainer IDs were taken, so I assume that's officially been registered. But yeah, I could do you double checking. I forgot to actually check. So I think uh, I don't they're going to take care of organizing the rest of it. I said I'd quite happily take over once it's registered, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. What's on your mind? What's on Watch your mind? Your Watch your back. Uh, I love this skip. It's so good. So close to level 30. My life is so much easier since we have that skip. Oh, that was a really fast one as well. Okay. My next, one of my next quest murder was check in on the boys. <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate it. One of oh, the yeah. simple joys, checking on the boys. Check in on the boys. I might as well get this fucking level up. Ech. I'm so close yet so far. <sighs> give me the XP I need. Give me, give me shit, give me fire, give me stuff, give me ammo stuff. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Ooh, is, is that what he's referring to? Maybe. Because I know they had a retro console thing upstairs and I had like 50 Mega Drive games I didn't actually play all that often so I thought it'd be nice to play. God, you're such a nice person, James. Ugh. Um, it's a long-term loan, I can ask for it back if I want, but better than gathering dust in my spare room. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Nice of them. You could you could ask for interest as well. What what's you interested in? You know because it's a loan name. It's funny. Uh, 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 uh. What we like to call comedy. Here at Jestertainment. We like to call this Comedy. <laughs> comedy. I've got Comedy, Mayday. mayday. Ooh, I can peep with talent. Sure, I'll go with Enduring Rage. Find Brawler Cloudwing. I love the cloud things. Fucking half stone, can't I? Wee. 
<sighs> Mom, ready for a race? <laughs> I'm ready for bed. Uh, yeah. Also, that I didn't get up till about nine today. Oh wow, that's so early. What the fuck? What? That's very late for me. <laughs> you weirdo. Uh, dude, I get up early. I put. I I live hard. I play hard. You know what I mean? Put a, you put on a little bit of makeup. Take up. Knowing me, knowing you. I don't think hey, you know anything. Well um, like it flies so slow, and it doesn't fit through the door. Why would you put me on a mount that I can't fit through? Not fit through. That'd be that's that sounds weird. But I'm trying to get through anything. Hey, what are you doing? How are you? See How are you? you? See you around. Uh, do you want to go to any of those places? Uh, where do I need to... Every time I, I get told I need to go somewhere, I immediately forget where it is. Checking on the boys. <laughs> Ready to fly back over there, okay. Fine, we're, we're learning, which... That's... Chat, look at that, right? Does that not look like it's directly in the middle of those two fucking fly points? God, I can't wait till I run this game. Oh. I have to deal with this mission. Oof. Insert rude point about fitting your mount through something. Listen. Also, as Rob's an old friend of mine, I know he'll look after it, and I want to help out about help out with getting the store going early on. Yeah, so that was something interesting that I've caught like snippets of um, that you and Sophie have been talking about. How have you known? How was Rob like a, an old friend of yours? Like, where did you know him from? You. Were at any point, you know, tell me to shut up and obviously don't say anything, but you were from one place and then you moved to current place recently. Hasn't Rob always been in current place? Using current place in place of locations to uh, protect witnesses? Witnesses? Witness protection matter. Oh, Jesus. Not literally. I'm doing what's called a wee jokey joke. I love jokes. Bit of comedy. Comedy. A yeah. It's a type of it's a type of lizard. <laughs> I wanted to make that joke. Kamede oh. dragon. <laughs> oh, no. I used to live in back in Studentville when Lee and the rest of our crew were at staffs. Ah, okay. Interesting. Studentville. Studentville. Yeah, it's a uh, Sims oh, expansion. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. Hanging with the mud. Uh, Wirral Halifax. I I assume you're not Geek Retreat Wirral, are you? No, we're Geek Retreat. It'll be Hanley or Stoke on Trent. So, go on. I usually put Hanley because one, what they're under. But the one in Wirral is Hoylaki. <laughs> it's it's what? Hoy Lake. Hoy Lake. Hoy Lake. It says Hoy Lake. <laughs> Hoy Lake. <laughs> but yeah, I can't see Hanley under list right now. Oh. I'll check uh, something else in a bit. I'm just sharing some concern. Do, 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 do. Ah, uh, any more news? Oh, yeah, so the... Go back to the Reggie deck. Um, yeah, I went full-on greed mode with the dragons I was running to see what would work well. Currently, um, if I'm remembering right, I didn't put Apple Tun in, but that may change. Um, we've got Gudra V-Star, Giratina V-Star, um, Duraludon V-Max... And I think Dragonite as well um, from Silver Tempest because that basically works as a uh, an Arceus, which is like really good. So um, yeah, it's an interesting little setup right now. I'm not too sure if I'm going to uh, change the Dragon lineup. I quite like the Dragon lineup. I've also got Radiant Charizard in there as well, which mm. it's a bold choice. Um, works Does with the it pale. It's a, well. So far, no. <laughs> but it's, you know, it's it's a fire energy cost, effectively, for when, for when you'll use it. Um, yeah. And, you know, I run fire grass in, in the deck. And, you know, if I've got a choice belt spare, um, that's a nice 280, which will knock out, what, most V-Stars? Like yeah. So, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of, like, umming and ahhing about keeping it in right now. I'm also, oh, did I, actually, did I put another, I might put another dragon in there. And that was um, the anti-Mew tech, which is Flygon V. Because that hits for 360, I think? On a V on a V Max, it hits a 360. I 
So, Done. it's very interesting to have in the deck. The problem is, I, I'm already seeing like some of the flaws in the plans, because certain cards are in just specifically for situations. Like, if I was to play the yeah. Appleton, that is literally for Blissian Lugia. But if yeah. I'm not playing against a Blissian Lugia, you'd probably prefer Giratina, because that just yeah. does the straight 280, no problem. Um, but then, obviously, you've got the energy cost associated with it. By cost, I mean that goes in the loss zone. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a, a bit of a weird balance I'm trying to figure out right now. But once I've got it fine-tuned, I think it's going to be one of my new favorite decks just because I can whip out so many fucking moves whenever I need yeah. them. Yeah. It has a lot of uh, options, a lot of plays. I think... I require a lot of thinking, but, you know. I think the key three or four ones I want in there are the Dragonite, so you can power up the next one quite easily. Um, the Giratina, the Gudra, and the Duraladon, I think. I think they're the ones you want to go for. I, I might... No! Not worry about the Appleton, but I'm not... Ay, ay, ay! Sorry, better. It's fine. Uh, what did you say? Sorry. I said the key ones I think I'm going to keep in are definitely the Gudra, Giratina, and the... Um, uh, Gudra, Giratina, and Duraladon. I think they're the ones to oh. keep in. Not the Dragonite that, like, does the Arceus attack? Uh, that I do want to keep in. It's whether I have the space slash consistency. Because right. I'm running Gardenia's Vigor. It hopefully becomes less of an issue. I see. Um, it'd be nice to have, don't get me wrong. But it's a case of, like, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it plays. But you want How the much damage on. does that do? 100, 180. Uh, okay. So... If you can pull yeah, that off turn two maybe. with a choice yeah. belt, you're knocking any Vs out. Yeah, but it's not too crazy. No, but It's not like a must play. I it's guess. not a must play, no, but that's basically how you'd run Arceus. Like, that is the exact same damage yeah. you'd get out of an Arceus oh, yeah. in turn two. So it's really good to have, I think. The nice part about it as well is, especially without the Appleton and without the Radiant Charizard, um, you only play Evos. So you're always going to start off with the basic that you need. Pretty much. Yeah. It does run Bibberol as well, so that kind of throws my little plan out a little bit. Yeah. So I might see if there's better search options than Bibberol. Like, I might get a little bit crazy and look at Chorus, but I don't know. There's, there's, some, there's some testing to do there, and I'm quite excited to uh, look into it. Yep. Yeah. I've not been excited about testing my own deck for a very long time. In fact, the, 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 <laughs> the algorithm was the last one, so... And that was, uh, that was that was an interesting little deck. I quite enjoyed that. Sorry, right. Let me just catch up with chat real quick. A uh, short version of what happened is I did a A levels back in Bristol and got into Cardiff Uni. I had a massive breakdown and got kicked out. Story I may go oh. into another time. Oh, you can have like aria level stories at this rate, but ones that are actually <laughs> thought out and concise. Then I was dating someone who was at staff. So as my next move, I applied to staffs, started computing and living in a house with my now ex and Rob and his ex Dan. He was best man at my wedding years later. Jesus Christ. My ex was mates with Rob and Dan, and they'd already secured a student house for second, third year, so they got me put on the house contract. In the end, I couldn't cope with uni in person, so I switched to an open uni degree after that and managed to graduate doing that. Oh, okay, right. So, a long and convoluted history. <laughs> my God. Whenever people start talking about, like, stories like that, I realize how simple my life is sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Beans. Welcome if you come for a fuss. Is your mother busy doing anything else? That's Sylvie. Hey, goodbye. 